dear child of God, those who had smitten you, those who had fought you night and day, those who had done you evil and wickedness, those who had stood against you every day, those who had caused you to sorrow night and day, he says, you will be terrible unto them. He had confirmed it and he had established it already. They will begin to receive the judgment of God. And the judgment of God is instant. The judgment of God is such that nobody can recover from. And he's saying to you today that you should hold your peace. He's saying to you today that you should stand your forth and see what he will do. He told Moses, he says that the Lord himself, speaking about himself, he said he is a man of war. He said he will come through for them, that they should hold their peace. And they held their peace whilst the Lord brought victories to them. Dear child of God, he is saying to you today, stand still. You will see the salvation of the Lord because he is bringing judgment. Is showing the terrible side of ease to the enemies that had been fighting you. Is executing his judgment and is doing it in the class of himself. He says, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. Against all the things that have been standing against you, he says they will execute judgment. Because God standeth in the congregation of the mighty and judgeth amongst the people who had been fighting against you. Dear child of God, soon you would understand what rest is all about. Like the Lord rose up for David and gave him rest on every side, you would enjoy rest because the Lord is bringing judgment. Is bringing judgment upon the enemy and he will see to it that they are smitten. He will see to it that it brings to you that victory that you so desire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So do not go fighting them. Stand still and see the salvation of God. Tell God it is time to take over this battle. You have told me already that Yahweh is your name. You are the man of war and I should watch how you would do it. Lord, I hand over each and every of these people into your hands. Each and every of the strong enemies, these people who had decided to disturb my life, these people who had decided to bring me to misery and pain, these people who had caused me to cry night and day. Lord, you see them and it is time for you to act. And I want you to know their child of God. The Lord will act. He will deliver you and bring judgment to the camp of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, I want you to know this day that God is standing up for you. He's standing up for you and He is judging every of your enemies. He's judging every single one that have been fighting and standing against you in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says, God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. Psalm 82 verse 1. Dear child of God, the Lord is bringing judgment. He's bringing judgment to the camp of the enemies. He's bringing judgment to everyone that had been fighting you. He's bringing judgment to everyone who had been haunting you. Is bringing judgment to every single one who has said you will not make progress in life. Is bringing judgment to the camp of everyone who have said they will frustrate you night and day in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who have said you will not know peace in your life. Those who have said you will not enjoy the freedom of life. Dear child of God, from this day henceforth, they will see the judgment of God. From this day and forth, they will see the might of God come against them in a terrible way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God made us to know in Numbers 33 verse 4, it says, For the Egyptians buried all their firstborn, which the Lord had smitten among them, upon their gods also, the Lord executed judgment. Dear child of God, 
The Lord is executing his judgment on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. And every of your enemies that had refused to repent, every of your enemies that had said that you will not enjoy peace, they will receive this as a mighty blow. They will receive the terrible side of God as a visitation they would never forget in the mighty name of Jesus. When the Lord terribly visited the enemies of God's people, they never recovered from it. They never forgot it. And this is what God will do to every of your enemies that have said you will not enjoy the freedom of God, that have said you will not enjoy ease, that have said you will not enjoy your good life. He said in Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 11, The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth. He said it will be terrible unto them. He will send the host of heaven. The angels will be there to fight with you and to bring you victory like they did for Joshua. When the angel of the lost army came through with him and for him and there was victory, they had a rejoicing that their heart cannot recover from. They had a rejoicing that caused them to celebrate for a long time. This is what God will do for you. When he brings you that victory that you have been praying for, you will be celebrating. You will be rejoicing because the Lord had established and confirmed everything that he wanted to do for you and for your family in such a way that you will see the blessings of the Lord. You will see the favor of the Lord. You will see the multiplication of God returning back to you and it would happen in a great fashion in the mighty name of Jesus. By the time he had smitten the enemies of God's people, he made sure that the people of God had blessings. They had gold to go home with their child of God. This is what God will do for you. When he brings you that victory, he will bring spoils to attach with it. He will bring blessings to possess. He will bring things that you would enjoy. He will bring things that you will find very satisfactory in the mighty name of Jesus. So trust in God to perfect everything that concerns you. Trust in God to bring to rest every single thing that needs to rest around you and around your family. And trust in Him to bring judgment to everything around you that needs to be joined in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among gods. And as he is executing this judgment, you'll be seeing it with your very eyes. Like the word of God have said, that only with your eyes, in Psalm 91 verse 8, will you behold see the reward of the wicked. You will see it and you will know that God is bringing judgment to everyone frustrating your life. And also you will know that God is settling you. And also you will know that God is making your life good. Equally, you will know that God is making everything perfect for you again in the mighty name of Jesus. So trust in God to make everything good. And you will see a turnaround testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will not put you to shame. And you would have a cause to rejoice in Jesus mighty name. Amen. It is well with you beloved. God bless you and shalom.